Hi, I'm Amy, today I am going to explain how to set up your TV Annex Digital TV Recorder, DTR to work with your home local area network or LAN. In this video, we are going to consider a wired network connection. Please power down your DTR and TV, while making the network connections. Using a suitable Ethernet network cable, connect one end to the network socket on the rear of your DTR HD500. Or alternatively, the rear connector of your DTR Z500 HD, if you have one of these. The other end needs to be plugged into one of your router's network sockets. Power up your DTR and TV, wait until all the units are operating normally, this will take some time. Your TV Annex DTR now needs to be set up to work with your network, press the menu button on the remote control to activate the menu system. Now navigate to the settings option by pressing the cursor down button. Press the OK button to enter the settings option. Navigate to the Network Settings option by pressing the Cursor Up button, it is quicker to roll over the top. Press the OK button to enter the Network Settings option. Press the OK button to use the Automatic Network Setup Wizard. Press the OK button again to select, Wired, Network Connection Type. The DTI will now check your network and configure itself. This may take some time. If all is OK you should see the screen showing that the network connection has been tested and is now available. Press OK. Press Menu to return to normal viewing. Now you can enjoy catch up TV and IPTV services and keep your DTR software up to date via the Internet. If your router does not support Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol DHCP or you require a special network setup, then it will be necessary to manually configure your DTR network settings, press the menu button on the remote control to activate the menu system. Now navigate to the settings option by pressing the cursor down button. Press the OK button to enter the settings option. Navigate to the Network Settings option by pressing the Cursor Up button, it is quicker to roll over the top. Press the OK button to enter the Network Settings option. Navigate to the Manual Network Setup option by pressing the Cursor Down button. Press OK to enter. Connection should show wired, if it does not, use the left or right cursor buttons to select connection wired. Press the yellow button on the remote to access the advanced options. The DTR will initially attempt to automatically connect to the network. Use the left or right cursor buttons to set, set up mode to manual. It should now be possible to navigate to the IP, subnet mask, gateway, DNS server 1, DNS server 2, and enter your particular configuration requirements. When you are happy with your configuration, Press the green button on the remote to save your configuration, press the green button again to save your settings and test your network. If all is OK you should see the screen showing that the network connection has been tested and is now available, press OK. Press Menu to return to normal viewing. If you wish to test your DTR's network connection this can be done at any time, press the menu button on the remote control to activate the menu system. Now navigate to the settings option by pressing the cursor down button. Press the OK button to enter the settings option. Navigate to the network settings option by pressing the cursor up button, it is quicker to roll over the top. Press the OK button to enter the Network Settings option. Navigate to the Manual Network Setup option by pressing the Cursor Down button.
Navigate to the network connection test option by pressing the cursor down button. Press OK to start network connection test. If all is OK you should see the screen showing that the network connection has been tested and is now available. Press OK. Press menu to return to normal viewing. Setting up a network requires patience and determination, please don't be put off if you are not successful at your first attempt, please persist and give it a few tries before giving up. For troubleshooting help consult your TV Unix DTR user guide supplied with your unit or download a copy from the TV Unix website. Thank you for watching and listening.